everyone, I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Today's game features a very active secondary. The Dolphins are top 10 in forcing interceptions, and they'll be up against the Bills, who will be testing that coverage. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to rain-soaked Miami, Florida. Today, we've got a matchup here in pivotal week seven between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, they've got all W's on the ledger so far. A perfect 6-0. Yeah, still a long... Forte, the lone running back. He's going to get the football. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Wasn't able to get anything, no gain. Fumbled once already. Maybe he's being a little careful. Not necessarily on that play, but I'm sure that's in his mind somewhere. Oh, without a doubt, because protecting the football is job one for anyone who's carrying it. And that's exactly what he tried to do on that play. But it didn't gain him any yardage. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Now it's Chris Boswell on for the field goal try. They'll spot it at the 30, so this is a 40-yard attempt. And Boswell's kick is good. And the Dolphins will jump out to a 3-0 lead. Second down, Forte. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up the third down. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the tape.
first down. This is Forte. And certainly some style points there on the spin. Not a whole lot thereafter, but still a pretty good game. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But if the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid, combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Victor Cruz, his second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins are going to jump. Peterson alone in the backfield. And he'll get it up the middle. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. So if I'm an offensive coordinator, there's one thing that I know for sure. This is one of the top five teams in the NFL against the run. So when I look at my playlist, I'm probably thinking about throwing it. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. And here comes play number six on this drive. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Second down, here's Newton. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Bills are an extra point away from taking the lead. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well executed offensive drive, no matter. First down, surveying the field. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Torrey Smith, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. He'll still in search of the first down after that last completion. Extra DB on the field for the Bills here on third down. Yeah, maybe thinking pass. They'll try and get it with Forte. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So a little grabbing there, but this time it goes against the offense for holding. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And incomplete as the screen there unsuccessful. So now fourth down coming up.
first down. Here's a run with Peterson. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. I thought guys that were over 30 weren't supposed to run the football this well in the National Football League. How about that veteran leadership? A big time run combined with some nice blocking by his offensive line. Showing that the ins and outs of being a veteran still has his place in this league. His odometer is not totally turned over yet. And he's got his tight end, Clay. Touchdown, Buffalo. Charles Clay, his second touchdown on the season. is caught for a Bills touchdown. Larry Fitzgerald, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills will add on to their lead.
They give it to Peterson. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Sort of a hallmark here of a Rex Ryan team last year, the number one rushing attack in the NFL, keeping it on the ground here, eating some clock with a lead. And it really shouldn't be a surprise. Rex Ryan's a defensive-minded head coach. He loves having a good running attack because it helps his defense out in a big way. It's a loss of two, now third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. A shotgun snap for Newton. That's caught at the three. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Call it a gain of three. And it'll be second and goal. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there if he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Illegal touchdown. Offense. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. And Brown able to put it through. And that will strike. Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Are you I, one of those guys that's skeptical, skeptical about it, or did you trust skeptical. it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice, got your notes laminated, because, you know, open-air booth, that rain can affect us as well, although not as much as the guys on the field. But let's face it, it's kind of fun to watch these types of games, isn't it? It is. By the way, how impressive is it that you travel with a laminator? I didn't even know there was a portable laminator. The things that you learn. Golly. Wise beyond his years. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, we sign off from Miami.